Welcome to my channel guys. Today we have a Jeep here. This is a Jeep Liberty. Uh, if you have the same body and this is a 3.3, 3.7 liter V6, okay? The car stalled. So pretty much the customer told me she lost power. Battery light came on, the windows don't go up and down, and the battery just died. So pretty much, I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a bad alternator. But if you come across any car, doesn't have to be a Jeep, all you're gonna do is, I'm gonna go get a jump box and we're gonna jump start this car. And if it starts up, uh, it should be good. So I'm gonna take this jumper box here, I'm gonna put this on negative on the battery, the red on positive here. And then I'm gonna leave my jump box here, make sure it doesn't fall, nice and safe. I'm gonna go inside the car, I'm gonna jump start it, okay? And I'm gonna get a voltmeter and I'm gonna see how much power do we have coming out of the alternator, but it is gonna die anyway because uh, or it might show a voltage of this jump box. This but jump box probably has a more voltage than the battery here and uh, it might be compatible to the alternator. But anyways, uh, let me move my camera a little bit this way. But anyways, hopefully, uh, let's see what we get. I'm gonna jump start it and I'm gonna go get my voltmeter. Okay, so what happened there was, it went clunk, okay? That's not the problem here. I think I have a bad connection here, so let me just, there you go, bad connection on my jump box. I still have a bad connection, so sometimes you will come across something like this. There you go, I can hear it now, good. It tried to run off with a little bit of power the battery had, but not enough, okay? But anyways, I also want you to do one more thing before replacing the alternator, okay? In this case, I'm gonna check it, you're not gonna see it. Alternator does have a fuse, okay? That fuse, what it does is it controls, if the alternator has charged up the battery, it will cut off the power. When, the, when it's got more than enough power, it will cut off the power for the alternator from providing. That gives a better fuel economy because the alternator does put um, load on the engine. So it's all about fuel economy. So most cars, if you have Toyota Camry, definitely got it. Toyota Sienna, any Toyota, any Honda, they do have an alternator fuse. All the cars, 99.9% .9 of them have it. Some don't, but you gotta check the alternator fuse, okay? Just look around, there's gotta be alternator fuse. But anyways, that was a quick diagnostic. We do have a bad alternator here. So my next video is gonna be about replacing that bad boy and I'm gonna give you torque specs we're gonna go step by step I'm gonna give you a price and part number so you're gonna see it complete okay and I will tell you how much it will roughly cost you for the job okay so give a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe share and like and we'll see you in the next one